Welcome back to Underwater Math. We're at the Horseplay Math Ranch, where Hank the Math Horse will show us how to add and subtract decimals to the hundredths using strategies. Howdy young buckaroos. It's me again, Hank the Math Horse, and together, we're gonna learn some amazing strategies to help us add and subtract decimals. Let's get started with the take and give strategy to make adding numbers easier. We have 4 and 67 hundredths plus 3 and 96 hundredths. 3 and 96 hundredths is close to the whole number 4. If we take away or subtract 4 hundredths from 4 and 67 hundredths, we get 4 and 63 hundredths. Now let's add the 4 hundredths to 3 and 96 hundredths, which gives us 4. Now the decimals are easier, more friendlier to add. Let's make sure our decimals are aligned and start adding in the far right place value, the hundredths. 3 plus 0 is 3. Now the tenths, 6 plus 0 equals 6. And the ones, 4 plus 4 equals 8. So, 4 and 67 hundredths plus 3 and 96 hundredths equals 8 and 63 hundredths. My little cowpokes, you're doing great. One more. Let's use the relationship between addition and subtraction to help us solve a problem. I know that 28 and 90 hundredths plus 16 and 25 hundredths equals 45 and 15 hundredths. I need to write another equation to show the relationship between addition and subtraction based on that equation. What if I add 45 and 15 tenths to 16 and 25 tenths, giving me 61 and 40 hundredths? Wait, that doesn't show relationship. I know I need to use all three numbers, but let me shuffle the numbers around and use the opposite operation. 45 and 15 tenths, the sum to the equation shown, minus 16 and 25 hundredths equals 27 and 90 hundredths. That's the equation that shows the relationship. Take a good look at what you've learned here, then get to trailblazing. And so, Hank the math horse, mastered the art of adding and subtracting decimals using strategies. Math has never been this much horsing around. Keep practicing 